Tim Rogers back with the Farm News Media team, and now I've got the chance to sit with Jason McConaughey. Um, just uh, spent some time with your brother Tom in the yep. combine running dry beans. Um, wanted to have a chance to talk to you as well um, about uh, about dry beans and, and the family farm. Um, how are things looking in this field? They seem to be looking great so far, actually. Um, we're just getting started and going around the headlands, but I asked Tom if he had any idea and uh, on how they're running. He thinks they're running pretty good just from what he's got so far. So we're excited. Uh, we think our dry beans, at least the early planted ones, are going to run well. Good deal. Now, I know one thing that Tom mentioned to me is that you guys plant some organic crops. Um, yep. You're a little diversified. Talk a little bit about why you guys ventured into the organic crop business. Well, um, the stars kind of aligned on that for us, actually. Um, a guy that we was doing some business with happened to be an organic farmer. And um, he, uh, he, he told us that, that if we grew organic crops, we wouldn't grow sugar beets anymore. And at first, of course, we all but laughed. And um, then we uh, came across the field that was for sale and it had hay on it for quite a while. And um, it didn't it didn't have any of the stuff that you know any illegal stuff put on it applied to it fertilizer or, or chemicals. So um, it worked out really well that that came along. The timing just lined up. So that's kind of how we we said, well, let's give it a shot. And um, it's been we've been lucky, I guess, and it's been going pretty well for us so far. So how many acres of organic crops will you have this year? We'll have about 175 this year, but next year we've got a bunch coming out of transition. Um, next year will be like 640 okay. next year. So, so f how many year process is it to, to convert to organic before you're certified? Two years of transition, and then the third year you can um, you can certify organic. The third year, okay. they say three years, but it's from the date that um, the last illegal application right up into or to um, harvest so you can plant before that three years and still be okay but it's it's harvest that okay. the three-year date goes to so. so during that transition period um, how do you market your crops and and, and, and what, what happens with that yeah well at first we were planting crops like normal and the problem with that though is is that you um you get an organic yield in a conventional price so <laughs> it's pretty tough to do that so what we've been we've been trying to do other things like um hay or or like we we like to plant cover crops so we use one field to grow rye on and just stuff like that whatever we can do to to put something on the ground something beneficial yep. um if not to the pocketbook, at least to the ground. Yeah. So kind so. of a gamble to do the organics to get through that transition period. It's got to be a kind of a challenge, uh, hopefully. Financially, it definitely is. Okay. Very challenging in that way. So talk a little bit about the crops that you have for organic. You're, you're growing organic corn, you said? Organic corn and um, black turtle beans. and Black turtle beans. Yeah. So, well, same thing we're, we've got here today, okay. actually. But, yep. So you'll have... Uh, uh, black organic beans and then just uh, conventional black beans dry beans right yep conventional okay. yeah same even same varieties even okay. conventional and organic so are those still marketed the same through through bay processing uh no no that's that's one thing that is is less enjoyable about um organic is getting your crop marketed you know with conventional you can just run up the road to the co-op and and market your crop um but with with organic it's it's a little bit different you know it's you gotta you gotta look a lot harder to find you, a buyer the grower has to be responsible for marketing it right? yeah and, and you it. can find you can find people to to help you market but you know and that's that's going to cost you and um but you know at first it's kind of a necessary cost yeah. it's one of those things so tell me about the organic corn that you're growing um what kind of what kind of corn is that and where does that end up um, well, uh, Herb, Herbrook's Poultry Ranch actually buys a lot of organic. They have they produce organic eggs, so they've got to have organic feed. Um, I'm not sure if any of ours actually went there last year. I, I believe it went um, into Indiana, 
and I forgot just what they what they did with it down there, but or if they were you know chickens or I'm they fed it. Okay. But I'm thinking that might have been chicken ranch too, but I'm not sure. Very very cool. Um, so tell us a little bit more about the family farm. Um, tell me who all is involved in the farm. Um, well, my grandpa to start out. There's grandpa. He's eighty. Just turned eighty five. And um, he still likes to help out um, with with whatever he can do. He likes to work ground and stuff like that. Um, and then, uh, but he's not really he's not a partner anymore. But he's still around. And we like having him. And then there's uh, my dad. Him out yet, huh? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and Grandma cooks a lot for us, so we got to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, and Dad, the, the the partners are my dad, myself, um, and my two brothers. Okay. Awesome. And then we have we have Sean, who's uh who's a friend of the family and, and our hired man. Awesome. So. Well, I appreciate letting us come out today and spend uh, spend the day with you here uh, in Deckerville. Yeah. Um, hopefully you guys have a prosperous fall, and uh, until next time, um, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's nice to have you guys out. Yeah.